Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Beth Allison. If you've been interested in practicing and learning more Navajo and you've always wondered of what resources are available, I'm not fully fluent in speaking Navajo but I've always been able to read and learn basic vocabulary. But I've always gotten stuck in wanting to learn and not knowing what resources are available or what would best help me to learn more. If you're new to my channel, last month I did a Navajo language challenge where I committed to practicing Navajo every single day. I will link those videos in the description below. But in that time when I was trying to gather resources to practice, I found numerous online resources, flashcards, books, and there's so many out there. So stay tuned as I review books, websites, flashcards, and other resources, and even projects that I've created on my own, such as this one here. This wouldn't be a proper introduction if I didn't try to introduce myself in Navajo. Bethany Allison Phoenix de Nasha de. I'm still learning. I have it written down here. Ts and it de Nasha. Um, my dad's from Oak Springs and my mom's from Shinley, Arizona. I'm a mom to a one and a half year old son. I'm fortunate to be able to stay home with my son. Just a quick little backstory. So I grew up in on the Navajo reservation. Both my parents are Navajo. My husband's Navajo. We're not fluent. We didn't grow up speaking Navajo. Um, I am the youngest of five and my two oldest brothers their I believe their first language was Navajo. They spoke both Navajo and English growing up. Um, but me and my sisters, we, we didn't speak fluent Navajo. Of course, for my parents, it was their first language. My husband, he's not fluent. I know. I think I know more Navajo than he does. I am able to pick up on basic vocabulary and really slow Navajo conversations. If it's being spoken to me slow and you know clearly, I can kind of pick up the gist of the conversation. I know very basic Navajo. I can read it really well. Um, in school, K through 12, there were some courses, of course there were electives though, of Navajo language, Navajo government, and Navajo history classes. Most of them were in high school, but I do remember some lessons that we had in reading Navajo, and that really stuck with me, and that's really helped me as I've been trying to gather resources and to teach myself currently. And it's been fun to learn new things now and try to teach them to my son, because I'm trying to learn colors and months and animals and food and even verbs and commands. And as I'm learning them, I'm trying to learn with my son and also teaching him at the same time. So it's really been interesting and fun to um, be on this language learning journey. And I kind of just did it on a whim um, the beginning of February. I just said I need something to do. I enjoy vlogging. I enjoy um, engaging with everyone on social media, all of my followers sharing my mom's stories and my, my blog, my website, my videos that I've done here on YouTube. But I don't wanna ramble on, I can sit here and just probably talk. I'm still getting used to talking to the camera and editing all, all of my videos, but I am getting better. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. So let's look at some websites, some books, some flashcards, um, and other resources online that I found. And hopefully these, you can find some of these helpful if you're wanting to learn to practice more Navajo. So the first two are these dictionaries, Leon Wall and William Morgan. And there's actually two versions of this. The first one is a smaller book. This one is really straightforward. It's a Navajo English dictionary, meaning that um, you have to know the Navajo words to translate, right? So all of the words are in Navajo alphabetically and it has the translation in English. It's compact, it's easy to use, it's if you're translating or wanting to listen to KTNN or other um, speeches or people talking, this would be a good resource to have in your pocket just to look up words really quickly. Or if you're trying to practice sentences, um, this is really handy. And this is also another version. This is the green book. It's the same one, it's just reprinted, and it's the exact same thing. This next one is really cool. Um, this is also a English Navajo picture dictionary. It's really easy to reference because everything is categorized by houses, verbs, the bathroom, the utility room, air travel, the space program, the Navajo translation on the left and the English translation on the right side. And in the back, it does have lists of the days of the week, months, numbers, colors. They do have a glossary index in English and Navajo. 
These next two are probably my favorite so far. This is a set that um, a friend let me borrow. This is the Conversational Navajo Workbook, an introductory course for non-native speakers. It has simplified grammatical explanations and everyday conversational patterns for teachers, counselors, and healthcare providers. So it does come with a little Navajo dictionary, the actual workbook, and this is more instructional. And it does come with three CDs. My Mac laptop doesn't have a CD insert, so I can't check these out right now. Um, and the same with the Rosetta Stone. I do have the Navajo Rosetta Stone CD-ROMs, but I can't, again, I can't use it. I would have to bring out my big, bulky um, desktop computer, which we have in storage. I've been meaning to bring that out, dust it off, and um, hopefully it still turns on. Um, to access and use the Navajo Rosetta Stone and to give these a try. I just got these so I haven't got time to sit down and really try these and practice with it but um, when I was glancing through this it really looked interesting and I liked the format of this one. I really like that this one is breaking down the sentences and comparing it between English and Navajo. For example, this is a horse would be your English but in Navajo, you're switching the verb and the predicate nom nominative. Um, it does have a lot of jargon on linguistic parts of speech. I don't know how important it is to be able to distinct distinguish between all of those parts of speech. And that's something that I've been struggling with is translating the structure of a Navajo sentence and translating that into Navajo. This one really breaks down the tenses for each verb. But I really like this one so far. But again, I just got this one and I need to spend more time going through it and trying to practice with it. This one's probably my favorite, the little dictionary. You can see that it's really small. It fits in my pocket. It fits in the palm of my hand and it even has an appendix of common phrases in the back of the book. And this one's different from the other dictionaries in that not all of them, but most of the words it has the English and then the Navajo translation. It'll give you an example in a sentence. And that sentence will be in English and Navajo. So now you have the English word that you're looking at and the translation in Navajo, the spelling, and then you have it used in an English sentence and in a Navajo sentence. So I think that's really cool and really helpful. Since my friend dropped it off, I've taken it with me almost everywhere and I grab it out when I need to look up a word that I don't know. I'm excited to dive into these a little bit more. This is the Denebazad that I've seen uh, most people use. I think we use this in high school in our lang language class. Before I got the Conversational Navajo Workbook, I think this one was my favorite, but I think that one <laughs> might be giving this a run for its money. This one is not as easy to follow instructionally as that book seems, but if you have a basic understanding of reading Navajo and um, understanding Navajo conversations, this one, this you'll be able to um, refer to this book easily. If you don't, if you're having trouble pronouncing, reading, and translating Navajo, this one might be a little bit more difficult. There are a lot of Navajo conversations written down in Navajo, and it only translates a few of the words. So it's not translating the sentences word for word, it only is um, translating some of the key terms. So this would be really good to practice with a partner, because there are conversational pieces in here. And there are boxes throughout the book that have um, the verb conjugated and it'll ch use those in examples as well. Like I said, I've been wanting to practice and learn more Navajo for so long, but it's just so hard to get started and get beyond learning just the colors or numbers or learning how to introduce myself in Navajo. It's so hard to get past that um, beginner speaker plateau. And I know there's so many out there, um, people have been sharing with me on social media and my other YouTube videos that I've done, that they're also in a similar boat and they've been struggling to find resources and trying to find the time and energy to dedicate to learning Navajo. I know so many people are going to find all of this information useful. I just want to put a disclaimer that these are my opinions, these are just random books that I've been able to collect over the past month or so. And I'm not telling you to go out and buy all of these books either or that if you use these books you're going to become a fluent speaker. <laughs> um, this is just more my feedback, my input, and my suggested 
um, ways to go about gathering resources to try to learn Navajo. There's no way I'm going to be able to use all of these every day. I go back and forth depending on what, how much time I have and what I'm trying to do or if I'm really interested in speaking about commands with my son, like washing dishes, washing our laundry, sweeping the floor, then I'll try to pick one of these books that can summarize it in a lesson or maybe has a list of verbs that I can use and then I'll go off of that and just try to go back and forth practicing on my own, reading, writing, and speaking it with my son. Let's move on. Um, and these next books are kind of random just a little bit. Isn't too related to learning to speak Navajo, but they are other Navajo books that I have. It's the Navajo Nation chapter by chapter books. So there's two of them. I got this at the Navajo Nation Museum, I think at one of their holiday sales, their Christmas sale, maybe three, four years ago. I had never seen any books like this that really elaborated on the Navajo Nation chapters. I don't know if they sell these online or if it's still available there at the museum. But these literally just go over each chapter house. It explains the population, the land area, what agency, interesting facts and history and people that are related to each community. I can't imagine all the time and resources that went into visiting all of these chapters and documenting, interviewing people, finding the information, the demographics for each chapter. I haven't seen anything like this online or in any other books. Shout out to the Navajo Times, good work. The number the Nebinaltos. This last one is a dictionary, and this one's really old as you can tell. Um, my mom got this a long time ago and it's always just been sitting on our bookshelf at home. This is really different. The spellings are really different. I'm sure they didn't have as um advanced Navajo font available as we do now because all of the spellings are really different. For example, they use a Q um, in some of the spellings and, you know, Q is not a part of the Navajo alphabet. So this was really done old school. <laughs> um, and you can still read it and get a sense of what the word is. And if you're more versed or you're, you have someone, a family member who is more fluent in Navajo to help you read some of these terms, you can see it starts out with cut cosmology, the universe, earth and sky, sun and moon, and in each of those chapters it's just it's talking about um, history and stories behind those topics. So it's like a history book in those topics with Navajo traditions and stories behind it and then it's also giving you a list of vocab related to that topic. And again this is really old. I'm sure some of the pronunciations and spellings and terms may have changed since then. Language, all languages change over time. Accents and spellings might shift and change. I wouldn't recommend this one if you're solely wanting to learn how to read and spell Navajo. Again, because this one's really old and outdated and I don't know if this is available to purchase anywhere online. I was able to create my own custom Navajo font that I use with some resources that I use for myself and with my son. But using my laptop, using my Navajo font and pictures I have and my laminated machine, I was able to create this sheet. Um, it's for my son and you can see there's a picture of me and him and my husband. I cr it includes the some two pieces from the set of Navajo clip art that I created. Please check the description box for a link to um, my resources on my website and the Navajo clip art that I created. You can purchase these, um, the clip art set, for your use if you wanted to create something similar to this. 
because if you're a teacher or you're into clip art, you know that finding any type of native clip art is so hard. Um, they all just have bows and arrows and headdresses and teepees and that's not Navajo. Um, so I thought, why not create my own Navajo clip art? So, but anyway, here's the sheet that I, that I created. We hang it on our refrigerator. My son loves to look at these and when we go, we go over the um, how to say it in Navajo with him. And this is also a clan sheet that I did for him. So it says Yate, his name, Yenishia, and it has his clans listed um, with the proper spellings and some more pictures on there. And we have both of these hanging on our fridge. And I did make one for my friend as well. So right now it's March 2021. If you're interested in getting a set like this for yourself with your pictures and your child's name and your child's clans of how they would introduce themselves, message me or email me and I can sell you um, a set like this. I also created this for mostly for myself and my husband to practice. So this is a month and day, I don't know what you call this. So I laminated and printed out all of the days of the week and months and I just attached a Velcro on the back and the same with this piece. It's just a box with the month and um, today is and you can just stick these on there and change it as needed. How cool is that? I'm a really creative person <laughs> um, so as I was learning Navajo you know I need ways to tangible ways to see it and to practice and I like that my son will be able to use these as well. He's kind of too young to know what to do with this right now but so here's all of the months that I did. I also did some in color so I'm going to be making another research sheet like this but with colors but I'm just I'm still working on that one I haven't finished it yet I'm hoping as I refine these and develop these more that I can have them available on my website for teachers for parents for anyone else who's interested in having these to practice and learn more Navajo <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are all the Navajo books that I have in my bookshelf, in my collection. Um, there are some others that I've been eyeing that I've been needing to try to borrow or possibly buy. But I don't need to. Like I have some really good resources and books here that I can use. I just need to really immerse myself in them, read, write, and practice speaking more. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're still watching to the end of this, thank you so much. I hope you found all this information useful, the books that, that I went over, the website resources. I hope this inspires you and doesn't overwhelm you um, on how to find and get, re get books and get ready to start learning, reading, writing, and practicing Navajo. It is hard. It's not easy. I've had struggles. I've wanted to give up so many times. It's frustrating to not be able to know how to pronounce it, to speak it, or really have family around to practice with. But I can say that even just about a month, a month and a half now of a little bit of practice every day, some more than others, it's I've already come a long way. I'm so far from being able to say that I'm fully fluent in Navajo, but still the progress that I've made, again, has just been really cool to see. and. To see my husband also become involved a little bit and to observe how much I'm trying to apply myself to learning. He's been trying to pick up little bits and pieces there and I think he's been really enjoying he's been enjoying it as well. I've enjoyed making my vlogs. Please check out my website. I have a blog section. I have a resources section on my website. I have my YouTube channel. I, you can find me on social media and I am more active on Instagram but I am on Facebook too. So please follow me wherever you feel more comfortable. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.